good day 2024 this is trump toss the truth again a new year new possibilities or i like to say it each year when i do this segment a new year more bullshit because this year it's going to be even more bullshit before you quit trump he doesn't quit he's still fucking here still people believe him i try to argue against some of his supporters online but they don't believe facts again again and again and it's looked like he's winning because liberals and socialists and leftists never mean to do anything right in the united states so we can get a new things about that well what is all new the war in ukraine fascism in italy fascism in france fascism in germany fascism in the netherlands and fascism in bulgaria so what's hope for the middle east fascists fucking in israel Fascists fucking in the West Bank and Gaza, people killing each other, bombing boats, more and more property and wealth go to the 1% of the world. We are in this point in nightmare right now. The media is gone, it's owned by big fucking companies, and lunatics is all taking over the fucking asylum. Well, Trump. You may ask, why not positive for 2024? We cannot only think about bad things. We need to keep happy. Drink, like in Berlin's last days. But I don't drink anymore. I have, I'm a father. I try not to watch the news too much because I'm fucking getting tired of it. Over 30 years I've done politics. And the problem is not people who want to fight for change, but all those people who just, just oh, not bother me with that. Or no, you're destroying the party. Why did you tell us about climate change? Why did you tell us the war? We just want to have a drink, or relax, and have an okay time. But it's not time for that anymore. It's not. I told that in 2016 when I started this segment. But the world hasn't changed. Not a bit. And people don't look up for anything anymore. You talk about the youth generation. Well, the youth generation doesn't do shit. The old generation don't want to do anything. And the generation in the middle don't seem to bother. They just don't, don't listen. They just don't want the news. They just want the fact. Stop bothering us with the bad news. Try to be positive. Yeah, like that helps. I'm trying to be positive. But it's very difficult in the world where a lot of things are negative. I just want more people to do something. To demand something. To see where the enemy is. We are fighting each other is a about a cultural war, who's just fucking bullshit. Yeah, it looks like everything is about woke and trans people these days. Do things should be about? Yeah, what should it be about? Real issues, of course, it should be about fucking real issues, about climate change, about racism, about economy, about how the big wealth is piling up more and more to a few percent, and you're never going to be a part of it. That should be the fucking issue, but it isn't. It's funny. Uh, let me take a case from an area that I know, uh, area outside Bergen. There was a place there where he used to call the Negro Forest. Well, of course, he took away the sign. You couldn't use this name these days, but somebody was so angry, they made a political statement about it. So they, have, so they put up the sign again. I don't know why they did it. But why did why I mention this? Because people are more upset that they can't use the word the N-word than they are about climate change and real issues. We had a lot of partners, women, men killing women this week in Norway. A horrible statistic would be increasing. Did anybody talk about that? No, they don't. Not at all. They're complaining it's a little bit too cold. A little bit too cold. They live in fucking Norway. What did they expect? 2024, I have no hope for. Yeah, that's rhyme. It was cool, I can be a rapper. But that's just the fucking world I see it right now. People, things are changing. And they're changing fast. The world is hotter. The weather is more extreme. And the forces are dying. We leave a legacy, a lot of things. But how will the future look at us? When you see all this shit we made, all the creative things we made, and definitely destroyed it because we want to give somebody big profits and because somebody thinks well, they're too hard to listen to. I have no hope for 2024. 
but at the same time I hope I'm wrong this time. I hope I was wrong about everything I think about everybody. This was Tron where Tron tells the truth. Have a fucking splendid 2024 and go fuck each other.